I am Don Kloss for Explore Central Ohio Nature, and today we are not necessarily going on a virtual hike, but are making a virtual visit to an interesting spot that is little known and little visited. I am driving down this narrow road, Good Road, G-O-O-D-E, which is off of Dublin Road in Shawnee Hills. And there is a kind of a hidden, little known place at the end of this road. in the road and the left fork is right now muddy a dirt road and it is the entrance to the Lucy Depp Nature Preserve. Which is run and maintained by the City of Columbus. It's heavily wooded on both sides. A lot of understory. Unfortunately, a lot of that is invasive. And where the road ends, we are out on a point. And this point is at the end of the western Twin Lake at O'Shaughnessy Nature Preserve. And that opening you see ahead of us there is the Scioto River. This is where the Twin Lakes empty into the Scioto River. This is looking back at the entrance, and if we turn facing south, here's part of the reason why this is a point. There is a cove here, it goes back a little ways, and it's about 70 yards maybe to the other side. Uh, I quite frequently see tracks from deer coming down to the lake to drink and uh, raccoons and, and other small mammals and when the water level is low which it's pretty high right now because of rains um, you can find an awful lot of shells from various types of clams freshwater clams now I am at the tip of the point facing directly at the entrance to the Scioto. One thing you see a lot of here is cormorants, and I have seen evidence of them nesting here. Um, a lot of waterfowl come into this area, and a lot of times also, especially when the water level is lower, you will, if you're quiet enough, observe herons and egrets hunting here. Here I am at the northern corner of the point and if I turn this around heading west you can see there's another big cove here that's probably about 80 yards across and then there is another point right there and that's an entrance to another cove on the other side of that down tree and on the shore across from there is the OSU facility 
that is for the study of freshwater mussels and clams. So that's the research area and these coves are a part of that. I have gone down a short trail which is on the northern end of the point and I'm about halfway back along this cove that I just showed you and I had just scared a heron out of this area that was fishing and if we slowly pan around again you can see how thick the understory is here and uh, we already have a lot of honeysuckle in bloom and then here we're back at the end of the point here on this downed tree limb, you will notice this white substance, and that is scat from a cormorant. And this is a problem in areas where they live because there is some type of chemical within their scat that when it gets on the ground, it kills any plants around it and it basically neutralizes that ground to where nothing else will grow there again. It's a major problem in Lake Erie on some of the islands where there are hundreds of them that roost. I know some people are very interested in and even collect driftwood. Uh, there is an abundance of driftwood here. Some of it very interesting but this being a nature preserve, um, you're not allowed to collect it. You just have to admire it and leave it where it is. And you can see, looking at this piece of driftwood, the substrate, at least along the shore here anyway, is mainly sand and very tiny bits of gravel um, which upon closer inspection looks a lot like tiny pieces of Ohio shale that has just been pulverized by water and weather. Here at the tip of the point is a large piece of a tree trunk that has come down. And it's interesting because you can see before it fell, a woodpecker or woodpeckers were very active feeding on this tree. Now, as for the water itself, uh, I have been here when the water is high and low and have not seen any evidence of any type of aquatic plants in the water. The cars that you may notice moving on the other side of the river they are on the point of reference riverside drive i am don Kloss for explore central ohio nature thank you for watching this video and for your interest and support in everything that we do you can follow us on facebook and our youtube channel both titled Central Ohio Nature. You can also find us on our website at www.central.
Central Ohio Nature, all one word, dot org. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat.